Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about VRMs, exporting them, and what you could do with them from there. At first, I want to cover a few of the limitations that you'll have whenever exporting. I just want to note that you will not have spring bones, eye movement, or mouth movements on your VRM. It'll function pretty similarly to how it does with your Decentraland avatar in Decentraland. So the first thing that we're going to do is just hit I to open our inventory. And then we're going to go ahead and put together an outfit that we want to export. I already have mine put together, so we didn't have to go through that step here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the export VRM button over here to the left. Once you do so, it'll open it up a folder uh, to save it wherever you want. I created a new folder, so mine will be easy to get to. Just called VRMs and directed it there. So now that we have successfully exported our VRM, let's talk about what we could do with it. The first thing that we're going to be getting into is VTubing. You can see basically how I'm using my avatar right now on the video. You're going to be able to do essentially the same thing. We're going to be talking about how to do that with a program called VC Face. VC Face is a pr free program and it's built using Unity just like the Central Land is. This is not an official recommendation. This is just a program that I personally like to use. I would recommend doing your own research, finding something that's suitable for you and verify that it's safe before downloading. I'm actually using a different program for my avatar while re recording this called Animaze. Animaze is a paid program though and VC Face is free, so we're going to talk about VC Face today. Basically, you just want to add your avatar, go to your avatar, hit open, select it. Be sure you have your camera added, other things like that. There are a lot of VC Face tutorials out there, so if you want to learn more about how to use this, you could, you know, watch in-depth videos specifically for this. Um, my avatar isn't going to work here because I have it open in another program. Um, that's not that big of a deal for now. Um, once you have it set up in here, if you want to use it as a virtual webcam to do VTubing, you just go to your general settings, um, and there's a virtual camera. You click to enable the virtual camera. Um, I think it runs a little bit of a program. And then whenever you go into a call like Google Meets or Discord, you just select the VC face program as your webcam instead of your actual webcam. And then it'll cast basically anything that you see in VC face. And that's how you do VTubing. Now that we've covered using our VRM as a VTuber, let's talk a little bit about using it in other virtual worlds. Right now we're in on cyber. So I'm going to come down and click my profile button down here at the bottom. And then there's an option where you could just upload in VRMs. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go to where my VRM is. And I'm going to hit to open it. And then just like that, we have our VRM in on Cyber. There's a scale option here where you could change the size of your VRM naturally in on Cyber, which is also a pretty cool feature. Um, and once you do that, you're locked in. You just hit to save it. And then you're able to run around as your Decentraland avatar in on Cyber. The next one I'm going to show you is HyperFi. HyperFi is also fairly simple to load in a VRM. We're just going to come into our button down here on the bottom, and then we could click VRM. Just select our VRM folder and hit Equipped. In HyperFi, you're not able to scale your VRM as you are in OnCyber. So I'll show you how to do that just in case you want to change the scale of any of your VRMs. And that will be using Blender. So once you open up Blender, all you need to do is go to File, Import, VRM, or your VRM. Once our VRM loads in, what we're going to do is select our armature over here on the right, and then basically just select everything else. So then we have our armature selected, we have everything else selected. We're going to come to our Transform tools here, where we see our armature is the main thing selected. And then we could just change our scale to anything that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and jump it up a bit. So we could see. Just like that, you can see that we've enlarged our avatar. Now all that we need to do is go to File, Export, VRM, and then Export the VRM. So then once we come back over to HyperFi, all that we need to do is go to our VRM, select our new VRM, open it, hit Equip, and you see that we have enlarged ourselves. So yeah, very quick tutorial on how to export your VRM, uh, use it as a VTuber, how to load it into virtual spaces, how to transform it if you want, 
and the possibilities are pretty much endless from there. Excited to see what you do with your VRMs. Share down in the comments if you have any other questions or anything else that you would like to see. And thanks for watching.